Hello, today I'd like to show you the application that I've made for my engineering thesis. It is an application called Windows Eye Control and it will be used to control windows using eyes and the eye tracker that is mounted right here below my screen. So let's start. It is a program made in Unity, so it is written in C sharp and it is visible here on the bottom that it's, it's running and this is the m startup menu the white circle that you're seeing on the screen is the place that I'm looking at right now I'm using for this setup a Toby 4C eye tracker and my, my, uh, my application so let's start the application uh, the UI is activated by looking at it uh, by the some specific amount of time I set it, I set it up to be 1.2 seconds and this is the main menu the button activating the activating the the menu the keyboard mouse multimedia keys application keys and browser keys so let's start with the keyboard and notepad so this is the main keyboard and let me type notepad or maybe, I, maybe I can do this with my eyes. So, symbols, windows, and let's type uh, notepad. And enter. So this is a notepad, as you can see. Let's click on it. Let's activate, uh, first of all, let's activate the mouse uh, functionality by looking at it. And now the, ma the cursor of the mouse is following the place where I am looking at. So, uh, And we can click or double click just by looking still at the one point of the program. So let's click on this window here. It's okay, we are active. Uh, now let me enlarge the font manually and let's type something that's my name and we can do this in caps locks as well for example some other wor word hello and we can also roll back the, the letters and at our disposal as you saw earlier we have also uh, some symbols and cursor as well we can go back to the main keyboard and now let's deactivate it and move forward so for example let us play some music mm -hmm, okay so now back to the media panel and let's play some random music okay it's a little bit too loud so now it's quieter we can also uh, skip to the next track, mute it, unmute it, or pause it. So that was the multimedia keys, so um, some pretty basic stuff. Now let's minimize this window. This could be a tricky one because uh, the cursor is following now my um, my sight and the eye tracker is not so sensitive but let's try okay we did it <laughs> so it worked now let's deactivate the mouse and you can see the cursor is being now set in the middle of the screen and now let's browse some web to to the applications menu we can have a, I did a preset of some applications like YouTube Facebook Netflix Gmail Spotify or Windows Explorer so let's say you want to watch some YouTube videos 
Okay, some maybe some Christmas songs. Let's activate the mouse and click. Okay, let's back. I didn't want to do that, but so let's back uh, to the previous page. Okay, we're back. And now this. Yes. Okay, some pretty nice cat, some Christmas theme. Let's read some comments. Okay, absolutely amazing, yeah. So now let's jump to a new page while the music is being played. So for example, we want to uh, search for a car. Okay, now the keyboard. Okay, it's not working. Okay, uh, up top we have a search button. For the browser, yes, now it's active. Let's back to the keyboard and let's type car. Okay, let's let's deactivate the button. Car games, car Wikipedia. So let's jump into car Wikipedia page. Okay, mouse is deactivated, so we can read it. Okay. Or we can swap uh, the tabs by looking at the bottom. So let's again to the YouTube. Mm -hmm. So let's go back to the main menu. And this is the basic functionality of my program. There is still some room for improvement, so if you have some ideas, maybe you can comment on it. And well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Okay, one more thing that I forgot to mention is that the all the code and the Uni pro Unity project is available on GitHub and the link is in the description. Thank you for listening. Bye.